Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Ravita, uh, specifically for the Beast and Bees update, uh, which is... I honestly actually have no idea what I'm getting into with this one. Oh, that's a lovely little save selection. I don't know if I ever actually paid any attention to that. Anyway, for those of you that have missed my previous runs and have never seen this game before, Ravita is a uh, side-scrolling uh, roguelike. I was going to say it's like... Uh, it's not a shoot 'em up. It's a little bullet heli, but not fully. Uh, let's see. Anyway, do I have? I don't have a whole lot, so I'm not actually be able to buy anything here. I, I did burn a lot of bits. All right, whatever. We'll just bail out. Looks like I'm just going in this in this one without anything else. Oh right. Anything in here for me to care about? The answer is no. Onwards, I guess. Okay. Uh. Anyway. Do I buy a hat? I buy a hat. Look, if I got five coins, I buy a hat. It's a red cap. I mean, I could. But you know what I could also do? Oh. <laughs> I love this hat. Alright. Uh, you know what? I haven't played in a while. I also... I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really like ascension systems in video games. I like the idea of them, but I prefer games, uh, I don't know how many of you guys have seen my Monster Train stuff, but they, with the last Divinity DLC, they added a shard system where you effectively trade power with scaling the difficulty. I find most, most ascension systems, you know, shards and whatnot, it, it just makes the game harder, which I realize is mostly there for the hardcore people that want to challenge after they've mastered literally everything else. And, like, can't necessarily... Whoops. Uh, can't necessarily blame people for wanting a challenge like that. Big issue just remains that... I guess I get... guess I just get kind of exhausted... Like, how do I put it? It's not fun. I, I guess that's what it comes down to, that I, I am very much a fun seeker as opposed to a challenge seeker. And I think fun, uh, hard, challenging things can be fun. Okay, we gotta get rid of you, suspicious little fly. Uh, fun stuff absolutely can, can be, or hard. Hard stuff can be fun and fun stuff can be hard. Uh, just kind of depending. But from my my perspective, I'm always looking for the more ridiculous, the more goofy, the more, you know, just casually enjoyable stuff as opposed to, like, something that's going to put me on the edge of my seat uh, and test me to the limits of my ability. Because I think when it comes down to it, it's just like, eh, no, I already, I'm already working hard enough as it is. Uh, I don't need more than that. Hello? We get a key. Eh, it's okay. And so I think I've always been kind of disinterested in it. The first roguelike to add an ascension system that scales, like, adds neat new features alongside the extra challenge, I will actually do it. Uh, so it's a good example. Well, I mean, uh, let's see, do we, do we offer? I know he said he was going to scale this up. Oh, we can actually see what we're getting. Increase the amount of soul you can store. Triple shot. Heals you up to one heart if you start a room with less. Ugh. So that's maximum soul. Or triple shot, which is spooky. But shoot three bullets at once, lowers damage and fire rate. Let's be honest here. All in, baby. I forgot how to heal for a hot second there. There we go. This should be good. Uh, let's see. So, once again, with Monster Train, obviously, there's the shard system, so you, you kind of trade off along the way. Monster Train also had the, the first Ascension level straight up added, like, multiple new mechanics that made the game tremendously better. Um, as kind of like the... the Basic, basic Ascension level. The Ascension Zero is pretty much just like, uh, you know, tutorial mode, I guess. Sorry, I just woke up. I'm a little... Words are hard when I'm I'm in mourning mode. 
Uh, let's see. Anyway, uh, well, I guess I didn't just wake up. I I just finally am waking up. I don't I don't start my day until after noon. I am I am a night boy. Always have been. All right, hammer. Upgrade one relic at the blacksmith for free. I like that. Do we go into the chest room? Sack a heart. Hope for the best. May. Yes. Why? Because I. Oh, it's only half a heart. I love that. That's super helpful. And we get brick block. I like brick block. It's not the best, but it saves me from a couple hits potentially. Literally a couple. I think I'll skip the shop though. I mean, obviously, if it's open, I'll go for it. Okay. Let's. Oh, the worms don't pop up nearly as high as they used to. I was honestly afraid it was just going to smack me in the booty and put me down, but no dice. Okay. Combo chain increases faster and damage by 5%. Like, second gear is kind of tempting. Especially if I get hit. But I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna err on the side of survivability for the time being. I've already got triple shot. That's a... I'm not gonna say a big damage up, considering the... Uh, the current penalties I'm, I'm living under, but... It's kind of there. Alright, let's focus on these guys first. I'm so glad... Thank you, Ben. You are a lovely being. I've been meaning to play more of this. I've been meaning to play a lot of games. Unfortunately, uh, I, I'm i in this bad place. Eee, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm in kind of this bad place right now where I, I every day I wake up to a e new email uh, from a developer that I'm a fan of. Ben Starr, the Atomicraft people, Curse of the Dead Gods. Uh, Ro RoboQuest. Oh gosh, what are the other ones? Uh, there's a couple. But effectively, I wake up to a new email every single day from a developer being like, Hey, uh, check out our new update. You know, it's the spring update. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I can pencil that into my schedule. And then, like, uh, then I get another email. Check out our, our like, Curse of the Dead Gods or uh, Dead Cells crossover DLC update expansion thing and I'm like okay um so that's the same day as the atomic crops all right I can I can maybe fit that in and like <laughs> it driving me nutty it got to the point where I actually had to sit down and say like no you know what I'm gonna play a game that's like 1.0 and doesn't get updates anymore just so I could safely wow health pickups are man maybe I should spend resources more often we're getting tons of HP I this update is big. Like real big. I'm, I might actually be willing to go up an ascension level just just for the sake of it. But I know there's like 40 and I Ben if you watch this video, can you confirm have you have you beaten shard 40 or um am I wrong about shard 40's existence? I'm not streaming this. Sometimes he pops up when I'm streaming. Oh, I don't remember this guy's patterns in the slightest. Too many too many patterns. Too many things I have to remember. Too much going on. Okay. I'm trying to avoid taking damage here. Though we've got a lot of health. And like I said, this is on an easier difficulty, so I, I'm in a slightly better spot. Okay, I almost done for it, but I, I was like, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to swing it. But... I get the distinct feeling that me and roguelikes are going to have kind of a... I'm not going to say contentious relationship for the next... Uh, year or so, or year or multiple. 
Uh, but it's definitely going to be one of those where I, I think I'm going to just start loading up roguelikes for like one to three runs kind of periodically and be like, oh man, what's changed? And the answer is like a lot. And it'll be like, cool. And then I'll go back to not because it's just like, it's, it's madness trying to keep up with all of these. I, I try. I respect the people that can do it better than I can. Uh, but I'm always like, I think I'm plagued by the fact that I play everything. Uh, because for every, for every new game I get, ow, there goes my shield. I mean, only taking one hit after not playing this for, what, month, month and a half? Eh, not bad. Okay, half a soul fragment. Let's, uh, use some of our soul, pick up another shield. Oh, in terms of capacity, not, all right, that's fun. Works for me. I'm not really sure why I stack soul past a certain point anyway, but eh, is what it is. Now I think we can get to the new region, but I'm not sure how to do it. Eh, there's nothing over here. The one thing I will give major credit for, check. Would you like to save your run and quit to the title screen? Oh, no. I, I was actually going to say that. One thing I really love about Ravita, above almost all other roguelikes, is speed. Most roguelikes, when I play them, it takes like an hour to beat a run, give or take. Okay, level 2 reduces the fire rate reduction. Uh... Let's go for that. Now it's the next one. Level max costs only one and a half hearts. Otherwise, half a heart for the brick break, up, uh, brick block up, upgrade. Let's do that. Main reason being, yeah, the these prices are a lot, way more reasonable than they were previously. I'm gonna hope for another hammer. Uh, we have at least one more boss that we can go to, so I'm just going to wait. Now, I know there's like a change of direction, but I don't know where I get access to that. Maybe that's something I, I unlock after a run or two or something. We will see. I'll stream more of this tonight. Uh, but anyway, so I was going to say it's like a, a major kudos to this game. It's short. I, uh, I can beat most of these runs in 20 minutes, half an hour depending on how fast I'm going and if if I get bogged down. Or I die in about that time. And, like, um... I've actually been really enjoying, uh, let's see, Bloons kind of for the same reason. Of It's a game that I can put out, like, a 20-minute episode and not feel like I'm cheating people. And I realize that, like, I'm not cheating people. I, I think people will enjoy my content regardless, and I need to have confidence in that sort of thing. I haven't found a secret yet. Oh, but we found an IV bag. All right. Probably nothing there. Yeah, I've totally forgotten the audio cues. The the music, at least. Uh, let's see. But, you know, when so many of my episodes end up being, you know, three quarters of an hour long, uh, two thirds of an hour long, something like that, uh, it's... I cannot take for granted just how convenient it is to have a game that is just like, oh man, you want a you want a short, succinct run that doesn't like waste too much of your time? Yeah, here you go. Like that's that's big for me. And that I think that will always be big for me. I I was thinking about this the other day, and I'll probably do like a a video talking about this. But I I got into uh, Binding of Isaac back in the day when I was a, uh, a wee twenty year old in college. This is OG Binding of Isaac, like the, the flashy one, or flashy graphics one. Uh, that, you know, I don't think many people play anymore, which is fine. But I got really into that game as a, like, I'm in ethics class, I'm listening to the professor speak. It's very, you know, it's a very informative lesson. I'm not even sure why I'm doing this, seeing as we're going into a battle room. Might as well work on getting that extra heart container. Brave enough to embrace Mother's Challenge? Yes! Oh, that doesn't even cost health anymore. Did it ever? I'm actually unsure. Hmm. 
Whoa! I did that to myself. But it's okay. Ah! I really want to get rid of this guy. Wow. This challenge room is, uh... A little bit more challenging. It doesn't cost health anymore, but it is... Oh, that's a sneaky little dude. I almost died. Increases damage. Bullets are dragged down by gravity. You know what? All in. I don't care. Oh, no. <laughs> I should care. Uh, it's fine. If I, if I die as a result of hubris, I die as a result of hubris. That's just how this works. Bergs. Uh, let's see. Offer hearts. Increases your damage, lowers your accuracy. But that would kill me. What if I do zero? No. Do I do lazy eye? Sure. A reduction in accuracy at this point is... Nah. <laughs> we are so dead. <laughs> I, I really should not pick up the gravity thing without at least, like, a range up or something. Boy, this is... This is the erectile dysfunction of bullet modifiers. Like, damn! What am I even supposed to do about that? <laughs> uh, let's see, do we want to go here? I... The thing is, like, I don't have any health. I'll save a key. Okay, but I will, I will say battle, battle Rooms got the update they deserve and needed. Nope, that's, that's bad. Okay. There we go. I mean, I can si kind of sidewinder around some enemy hits. I just... <laughs> I'm in a very, very bad spot. Uh, let's heal up a bit. I don't know if I'm not being determined enough or what, but secret rooms are just, uh... Not around. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, cool. I can be a bullet fountain. Actually, I think it, I think that's actually tremendously more accurate <laughs> than me trying to shoot at things. <laughs> what is this run? I, well, okay, you know what? It's kind of appropriate almost if, if the, oh, that's a little bit more obvious. Uh, if this run is, or if this run, if this update is the, uh, beasts and the bees, bees and the beasts, it's a, it's a slight play on birds and the bees, sort of. Uh, which, you know, is a little weird. But, uh... Considering my my build right now is, is straight up ED, then maybe that's apropos. Got another shield. And half a heart. Let's go to the chest, see what we get. As long as... Well, no, even if it ca costs a full heart, I can open it up. Cause yeah, I got two shields. That's that's enough for me to take some risks here. Increases fire rate, and you take damage in hearts even if you have shields. <laughs> no, no, I'm doing it. That actually that's a big attack speed up. You know what this game needs? Synergies. I mean, it already has some, but like. I feel like it actually could benefit greatly from um, having really unique item synergies depending on like what you combo together. Okay, now I'm not going to bother with this chest as I will die.
I think we're going to have to go into a boss fight with... Uh, well, I think I'm actually going to make it to the boss fight in my current state, which is... You know, that's a separate thing. But that's okay. I don't know. I, I'm just happy to be here, is the real answer. Okay, prison key, bring it to the imprisoned. Chewed gum can now be unlocked. Damage up, and do we have any secret rooms? Please tell me the answer is maybe yes. Secret room with a health up would be lovely. But no dice. All right. We go back to one heart and two shields that might not actually do me any good anymore. <laughs> I look, man. I don't know. I... At this point, I've... A, I... I make so many misplays, I might as well just own it and have it be my personal style. It's like one of those people that draws bad anime and it's like, you can't criticize me, it's my style. <gasps> Holy shit, that's so good. The fact that it warns you now. Like, there was always a little bit of a, uh, a tell. But this is a thousand times better than it was. Okay, so I'm actually mulching this guy. This little minion uh, is a bit of a problem, but the whole triple shot damage up attack speed bonus and everything else that I'm I'm rolling here, I uh, it's paying dividends. I don't think it's gonna save me, but it's paying dividends. Now let's go burn some heart containers on upgrades. I mean, I guess I'm catching back up to full health. We'll see what we'll see what upgrades actually get me. What's up, chillins? Yeah, me, your boy, Chesty. All right, we're leaving. See you. I was hoping I'd get another hammer. Anyway, so triple shot is maxed out. I feel like weights should be better than a ten percent damage up. Because that's effectively just no better than two of the little swords. At least this lazy eye scales better. What about Pipette? I feel like Pipette is the way to go. Now here's the question. Do we... Do we go for another 5% or... Here's what I do. I'm just going to spend ha all of my half hearts. Because I got tons of them. Uh, let's see, I'm not going to upgrade that. This will do. So now, now I'm even less accurate. But that never mattered. Tri Honestly, triple shot had that covered. Okay, still don't see anything useful here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can change direction yet. I'm curious how to get to other... Um, the other path. Maybe I have to unlock it somewhere as like a station improvement after this run. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully it's not locked to later shards. That would be tragic. Either that or it actually is just like set after this uh, this region. Which could be possible, but like I almost feel like this game would truly be best and remain better uh, if like runs remain short. Short, sweet, interesting, and, you know, maybe give you the option to loop. That would actually be something. I would be willing to accept, like, an ascension system if every time you looped in a game, it kind of ascended you. Because I always found looping in, like, uh, Binding of Isaac, for example, to be kind of uncompelling. Because it's just like, eh. Uh, or Slay the, Sp Slay the Spire? Slay the Spire had looping with mods. But, you know, rarely did it actually make the game any harder. Most of the time it just made you more powerful and nothing scaled in turn. But having, like, a, a looping shard system, kind of like what uh, Risk of Rain does, that could be kind of fun. 
Because that way, if you want to just have that short, sweet, and to the point run, you totally can, or you can keep going like a crazy person. Okay. I don't know if I actually got the soul there, but that's fine. It's over Frosty Pants. I have the high ground. Thank you. Okay, what is this? I actually don't know what this one is. Let's pop it open. It's a fountain. this might have something to do with the bees? It probably doesn't. But that water is kind of honey-ish. I don't know. I'll... I'll figure it out. Or I won't. It's fine. Alright. Time to sacrifice mad HP for the sake of upgrades. Chance to shoot additional bullets. Enemies get poisoned upon spawning. Get a curse. I'm gonna go for Biocell. I have no idea what Biocell does in combination with uh, Triple Shot. It'd be amazing if it actually results in a uh, Sextuple Shot. Or if the percentage was per bullet. So it was either a 3 to 6 shot, kind of purely dependent on RNG. I'm pretty, I'd be pretty cool with that, actually. Chances are it just gets me a fourth shot. I'm certainly not seeing any more than what I'm already putting out. But it would be would be cool. Once again, like I said, synergies. Because deck builder roguelikes thrive off of them. Binding of Isaac thrives off of them. I feel like a lot of roguelikes kind of have the synergy as just kind of like a, a thing that exists. Uh, you know, it's like, okay, I I have a synergy because I am I am combining uh you know I walked right under that. That was kinda risky. That's fine. You know, I have a synergy because I got the biocell and triple shot, and therefore sometimes I'll have you know, four shots, and that's you know, kind of the multi shot synergy, but it's like no 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 no. What if what if like Bioshot uh Biocell and I don't know. Something else. Something that doesn't make sense. For them to synergize together. You know, Biocell and some kind of poison... Oh. Upgrade. Okay. And I think... I think this might be a rescue. Yeah. Let's free this person. Are you willing to part with one HP of yours to bring back this lost soul? Yes. Now, is this the hero, or is this somebody else? Well met, Rebirth Traveler. I was just about to free myself in an act of stunning heroics, but you saved me the trouble. Bye. Let's see. What was it gonna say? Brain, things, synergies. I don't know, like, uh, what if, like, uh, the poison upgrade comboed with, uh, brick block? There we go. And you actually ended up with these, like, uh, poison, poison orbs that would rotate around you instead. I'm gonna save my HP at this point. We have a reasonable chance of fighting a boss here. Uh, we're fighting the... I use boss here without actually dying, and while I'd like to potentially go shopping and pick up some more upgrades, I think I would prefer to uh, just be as tanky as possible. Especially, I mean, we haven't even tested how the whole...
There we go. There we go. I haven't. E I haven't even tested. Oh, do we go for the chest though? I have no chest. I have no keys, so it don't matter. All right, let's go up to four hearts, and we're good. Yeah, we haven't even taken a hit to my knowledge, so we don't actually know what my shields do. Maybe it's one of those that I lose the hearts first, then the shields. That'd be the most likely option. Okay. Now, areas like this are rife with potential secrets. But no dice. Ah. I don't know if I'm... I like maybe it's one of those that I'm I'm just not trying hard enough. Okay, boss time. Let's see how I do against this stinker. I've beaten him once or twice now. So I might be able to beat bargaining again. The main issue is just hitting bargaining. Oh. He gives souls now. Not necessarily used to that. Okay. Makes sense. And the thing is, I do damage with Gusto. So, as long as I don't get smacked around too much here... Didn't avoid it. But that's fine. Yeah, so it, it strikes straight through. I have no idea if the shields even count for me anymore. But don't matter, because we beat bargaining. Hello, shields that I probably don't need unless we have another level after this. We might. We might. Huh? Nope, end of the line. All right, for now. So I don't actually, I don't actually know. Oh. Was it a different animation? I'm not sure. Well, so far so good. We got a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of stuff. I don't know how to unlock the new level yet, but it's, that's okay. At the very least, I want to go talk to the hero. And anybody else. For someone so small, you move very slowly. It's infuriating. Okay, so we unlocked Ivy Bag, Chewed Gum, and Heart Fairy. Boy, these are going to take a while to unlock. Not that long, but a while. Where is Hero Pants? Okay, haven't done anything here. Is he outside? Nope. Okay, is he over here? No. It means he's got to be in the station somewhere. Unless, of course, he shows up, like, in the middle of a level. I, I figured he would be a, uh, a train station kind of dude. Yeah, all right. Well, I guess we'll just have to find him on subsequent runs. But for now, at least, this is a great stopping point. Like I said, nice short runs. Eee. Nope. There we go. Yeah, that's the stuff. All right. Well, anyway, I guess I will see you guys on the next episode of Ravita. I'll probably stream a bunch of it tonight as kind of just like a, hey, I can play this for a night, and then we'll have a couple episodes to go up over the rest of the week. And then we'll probably wait until the next big update just because that's how I roll right now. So, with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.